If you want to become a data analyst, it's not so hard. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to tell me that it's easy. Well, it is easy, okay? Because you don't have to, like, go to another town to work on it. You don't have to go to the woods and chop a tree down and bring it out to your home. You just have to sit at your computer in the comfort of your own home and you have to learn the skill. And trust me. Any man is capable of learning any skill out there. And with this free knowledge that you can take, well, you're on your way. You know, a lot of people just pay money in order to learn skills like this one. And you've got a lot of this for free. And if you doubt that there's not a lot of work for data analysts, for example, just have a look at this information from Google Trends. In the past five years, it is just going up. Okay, so it is in demand always is going to be because of this digitalizing of the world. Also, take a look at this keyword, Google certifications. Now, Google is going to give you the certificate for free if you complete the tasks, okay? And a lot of people are using it. So today, I'm going to show you how you can learn a few skills for yourself and how you can just get a lot of money by doing this. Of course, at the beginning, it's not going to be like thousands of dollars each single week for you, but down the road, if you are a persistent person, if you are dedicated, in the end, if you're just serious about this one, you will give it a try. If you have any passion for it, you will succeed. So what I want you to do right now is to go over to Google Garage. Google Garage is a thing that not a lot of people know about. Basically, they will just give you a lot of tutorials for free and they will give you the certificate for it. So when you complete something, they will just give you the certificate and I mean, it's so good to go with Google certificate to some workplace and to just give it to them. And you've got like, I don't know, like 60, 70 percent more chances to get hired. Right. So if you want to go and delve into this, go and just go to Digital Garage and scroll down to see some of these options. So you've got digital marketing. You've got career development and you've got data, which is data science and data analyst. So if you want to go with this, just click on this one. But I would recommend to just take a look at career development as well, because this is something that every person needs. Whether you are a programmer, whether you are a singer, career development is something that Google can teach you, you know. And right away, I got to tell you that you don't have to be a programmer in order to be a data analyst. You know, you can just learn one tool, one software if you want, and you can just follow the already like made paths, you know. So, I mean, after all, computers are dumb, you know, so you just have to learn a few controls and that's it. You can just control it in a way that is suitable for you. And of course, in a way that is going to bring you some money for it. So what do you want to do? Go to digital, digital Garage and click on Find Your Course. And then, of course, just click here on the data. OK, so these are the data courses. Now, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to scroll down and just load all of these. OK, so you can just load all of these courses until you find these that are really, really useful. So what I want you to do, I want you to find this one. So SQL for Data Analysis. These are like six modules and you've got like 30 hours. So you can complete this in 10 days if you work three hours per day. So remember this one, SQL for data analysis. And one more is Python tutorial. OK, now Python, you can get like on YouTube, for example, and you can just find it that way. But you can get the certificate on here. OK, so Python basics, I want you to take this one and Python down there for data. And this is one. So Python programming. Now, again, I tell you, don't worry, it's not some kind of a hard programming. You're not going to be like in the back end of a certain Google company, you know, but Python programming is a bag just like fundamentals. OK, so you're just going to get the fundamentals. And you're going to use it in one way only. So that is for data analysis. Python is, of course, for free. You can just download it from python.org. And I've told you that if you ever get stuck, you've got a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of free tutorials on YouTube. I mean, just have a look at this. It is 4.5 hours long. And I tell you, people pay a lot of money in order to learn something like this. And you've got all of this for free. Now, have a look at this. This is Harvard's class. I mean, Harvard, you know, so you get to go to the Harvard class for free. Now, how good is that? I mean, a lot of people like, I don't know, they 
either don't know about it or they just see it. Oh, okay, it's there, so I don't have to do it. Harvard. Okay, so there's a professor and all of his lessons were filmed. And you've got all of these like exercises you can practice along and you don't have to be like present at the class. You can always like rewind and watch what you've missed, you know. So 15 hours, almost 16 hours programming with Python. Okay, so if you are a serious person, you're going to get this, you know. You can just find a lot of work right away after you complete this one and just do a bit of a practice. Okay, so don't tell me that it sounds easy because it is easy, okay? It is easy, you just have to sit down and you have to work for it and you have to be dedicated, okay? You have to throw away all of the distractions, all of the gaming, all of the Instagram, all of the Facebook, all of the parties and you can succeed, okay? So that's the deal. Now, of course, you will be given the certificate as I've told you, and then you're on your way. After that, one more that I recommend is datacamp.com, and this one will also give you some advanced skills, and of course, they will give you a certificate as well. They're pretty popular, and of course, they're free, so you can just take a look at them. And of course, once you're ready, the first place that you want to go on are the freelancing websites and later on to LinkedIn. Now, everybody knows that LinkedIn is a great place to meet new people and networking is a really, really awesome thing. But when you just started out, it is a good thing to visit some of these freelancing websites because a lot of people just lead a lot of work to be done. Every company in the world, they just want to make something in the digital form. They want to make their processes in the company like easier, you know, faster so that it could be done by less people. So this is a big skill. OK, it's high demand skill for data analysis, especially so you can just always go to Fiverr or, for example, Upwork. And trust me, a lot of people are just getting a huge amount of money with this one. So have a look at these earnings. And of course, you don't have to come like from the Europe country or from the US. You can see this girl from Pakistan, she did it, okay? This girl from Tunisia, she did it. Once again, Pakistan. I mean, people are just getting huge deals of money just by working, okay? And you can't tell me that these people are somehow better than you because they're not. Also, you can operate on two platforms, and that is really what I suggest because you're going to get a lot more work. And you can see what kind of money these people are getting, okay? And you can see that it is not so populated. I mean, it is like 1.1 thousand services available. If you just compare that, I don't know, to the first one here, logo and design, you will actually see the number is pretty high. So... This is in demand. Not a lot of people are doing it. And if I just click on this link, you will actually see that this person, Royce, he's got 45 sales. Basic package is like $50. Some basic pivot tables. You're going to know what it means when you just land and see that. And guys, really good money. Okay, so really good money. So if you have any passion for this, if you are interested in things like this, go and do that on Google. You get a free certificate. You can show that around on freelancing websites, on the place that you want to get hired, wherever. And that Harvard class, a lot of knowledge. If you ever want to get this, I mean, it is free. It has a lot of views, as you can see, two months ago. And I don't this want to court? play it. I'm just going to show you, like, for example some of the pictures from this course so you can see that this is a real professor this guy here is called david j mallon and it has all of the necessary things so for the beginners let me just show you like he's in some sort of a classroom and what students in harvard see you are seeing as well especially with this on the back you can see all like the info that is on his computer. So it is a really useful thing. Really good. His name is David J. Mallon, and you can see that is American computer scientist and professor, and he is a professor of computer science at Harvard University and is best known for teaching course CS50. So that is what he is teaching. Really good professor. He has really, really good explanations. And at the end, it can land you a lot of jobs just like these people are doing. So what do you have to do? You have to go and study. You have to go and watch this. You have to practice a lot. And in some time, you will realize that you know a lot. Okay, I mean that you know enough in order to get some money for it. 
And that's the best thing. And later on, you just go and you learn as you earn something. Okay, so you are just learning and practicing. And at the same time, you're getting some money for yourself. And trust me, soon enough, you can live off of it. So just go and be dedicated. Okay, be consistent with your practice. And you will see that you are capable of it. Anyone is. Okay, we just, I don't know, it's easy to distract us. So just go and do it. I know you can succeed. I'll catch you.